Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Today we have um, a cigar that was by request and also provided by uh, Roger Working Man Cigar. Um, I forgot who requested uh, to see a Aladino um, cigar review, but you know, since Roger has sent me one of these, thank you. I will review it. So, this is the Aladino Sumatra Toro. There we go. So, it's a uh, 6x52 Sumatra, even though it's kind of weird because uh, on the in uh, information, it says the wrapper is Honduras. It's Honduras Sumatra because that makes no sense because Sumatra should come from Indonesia. But uh, binder also is Honduras. Filler is also Honduras. So I kind of got intrigued a little bit, you know. MSRP is sixteen dollars. Uh, let's take a good look at this thing. Now I don't particularly like this kind of stuff. Like when you have something like this, yeah, it protects it a little bit. It, it it adds another dimension to this thing. But you would never know if it's moldy. So let's see if it is. Nope, it's pretty good. It looks pretty good. Oh. It's like woodsy and chocolate. It's like woodsy and chocolate. Okay. So far, so good. I, I wouldn't say that's a bad start. Um, I don't know much about this... Um, Cigar, obviously, so even though it's made by like a third company, kind of JRE cigar. Yeah, I, I don't really buy a lot of JRE cigars either, so it's one of those things. Okay, it says Julio and or Julio, Julio, Justo. Started playing Sumatra C in Honduras. It makes no sense. <laughs> it is because it, it, it. essentially Sumatra and Cameroon are technically the same thing, but they are just planted in different area. So it's diff. It's like Cameroon. Or Sumatra, it's like the same. It, it, like sometimes this is the part that doesn't make sense to me because uh, a lot of seeds name is different because where where it's planted, right? So if you remove the seed from Indonesia and plant it in Honduras, it, it, technically it wouldn't be a Sumatra anymore, right? Just like if you take Cuba and, and plant it everywhere else, it's called Corojo. So I don't know. Confusing, confusing, confusing. All right, let's give it a cut. Triple cast, so I got plenty of room to cut it. The draw is medium. Yeah, it's like cocoa and woodsy. It's cocoa and woodsy. All right. Coco and Woodsy. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. 
a little bit in the corner. Okay. Hopefully this time my microphone don't act up again. Was the other day, I, if it feels like that the flame was really loud and it, and it kind of gets over me talking. Anyways. It's earthy, tastes like a dirt. It has a little bit of cocoa. On the nose, there's a little bit of hay. And like peanut butter or creamy peanut or something like that. This this like leathery bitterness and ends with a really weird citrus. And there's a little bit of hay. And it dries you out a little bit too. Now, all of those notes are very, very, very light. They're there, but none of them are strong. Very, very, very light notes. Airy. Not a lot of power to this note. I don't know. All right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, first third. Um, you know, it's not bad cigar, but there's one bad part. The flavor is way too light. I struggle to get a good flavor note, especially right now it's turning into a really sweet cedar. And I want that flavor to shine, but I can barely taste it. I can barely taste it. It's not It's not a lot of flavor. It's, it's good flavor, not a lot of it. It's a bothered the crap out of me you know um i struggle to to get a good puff out of it too uh it's not like there's no draw it's one of those things that there is drop and smoke is not coming through something like that but i i, I don't know what's going on so i dust it off i relight it again now i get a little bit more smoke but flavor is just it's lacking give me more you know give me more it's getting sweeter it, it is getting sweeter so it's getting better but first there is so weak. It's so weak. It's almost like it's, you are sitting over there while somebody else is smoking and you are smelling their smoke because you're not getting anything, you know? So uh, yeah, hopefully the second there gets better and, and stays that way. And we'll see how, how that goes. So I'll be right back. Second there. All right, second there. Problem with that is, again, good flavor, no, no body. There's like no body to it. This. You get a little bit at the retro hill. This is great flavor. You can tell that flavor is going to be great if it has any strength to that flavor. There isn't. It's so light. It's just fluffy. It's, it barely tastes anything. But it, I can taste the cocoa and a little bit of creaminess, uh, a, a little bit of uh, sweet cedar that's just there. But like, it's like so airy. You barely get it. You know it's there, right? It, it, it's it's not enough. I need more than that. It has a little bit of pepper too. Start to have a little bit of pepper too, but it just good cigar, not enough flavor. And then people's like, if you think that make it like you know age a little bit, it's gonna be better. It's not because when you age it, you actually lose flavor. It gets more mellow and more balanced. It doesn't gain flavor, and that's the problem with the cigar. Um, if you're eating something salty, I guess. 
or having a nice hot chocolate or bourbon maybe will enhance this flavor but smoking on its own is so light it's so light this thing the strength is mile plus maybe 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 it's so light it's so light so i don't know i have one third left we'll finish that up here's the ban uh i think over here where the ripped up it says honduras 1947 1961 so what happened to any year after that i don't know anyways that's the ban i think it's kind of generic i think they can put a little bit more effort in this one to make it look better but uh, it does fit the thing. I can't, I I feel like they did this and they put it on. So, oh, it's kind of bland. Uh, there's not a lot of look to it. So they put that white sleeve on there to kind of give it a little bit more. But I, I think that's not enough. That's not enough of the decoration for me. For me. So I feel like they could do more. All right. So at $16. It's not there. Mm. I'm kind of like stuck at that about eight dollar, eight fifty ish. Eight fifty ish. All right, I'll smoke the last third. We'll come back with a summary. If this thing getting any better, see if we can reach up to the ten dollar point. But I don't think I gotta reach sixteen with this uh, light flavor. Be right back. Last third. Unfortunately. The flavor didn't get better. Not like the flavor is bad. It didn't get enough. It feel like very watered down. Imagine you have a can of Coke. You dump out 80% of it and fill the rest with water and just drink that. So well, although the Coke will taste nice, but it's very, very, very watered down. It's very mild. And that's what I got from this. So um, I don't think this is ever going to reach $10 for me. It's an uh, $8 cigar. $80 to go. So it doesn't taste good. Oh no, it doesn't taste bad. It just don't have enough flavor. It's mild and um, it's... Uh, you got the cigar smoking time. So yeah, $8. $8 is roughly what I can give it. It's not a bad cigar. I just wish there was more. So for beginner, it would be perfect though. It wasn't, it's not too strong. It, it, it's, it, it's, it has some flavor. So if you're a beginner, you have trouble picking up notes and stuff like that, it might be just a, a pleasant cigar. It wouldn't be like, you know, killing you while you're smoking it. So I think there is a market for this, but not for someone that has been smoking for a while. Uh, you, you'll feel like this thing's watered down. There's not a lot of flavor. Um, and that will kill ex uh, <clears throat> a little bit of enjoyment for you because Honduras tobacco has a lot of potential. Yeah, it, it could be a very sweet and nice cigar. But I don't think they, they let it shine. Or they didn't firm it enough. I don't know. That could be either way. But aging this cigar, let it sit, is not going to do any good. It's not, you know, it's, it doesn't have enough flavor for it to develop anything. If anything, it will just absorb a little bit more cedar flavor from your trays and stuff like that. But I don't think that's going to add much to this particular cigar. All right. So it's more like a beginner cigar. And $8, I think, it will be a fair price for this. Okay, so yeah, uh, thanks again to uh, uh, Roger, Working Man Cigar. Uh, and, um, and that will be it for this review. I will see you guys in the next one. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure also if you wanted to uh, support this channel, multiple ways, Patreon, Super Like, and all that stuff. Don't, I don't really like your advertisers. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.